In the pennies to dollars and change assignment, we have a word problem describing six-year-old Stacy saves pennies in a jar and every three months Stacy takes the pennies to the bank and wants to know how many dollars, quarters, dimes, and nickels and leftover pennies should be given in exchange for the pennies in the jar. And we want to write a Python program that takes the pennies as an integer, that being our input, and outputs the total number of maximum dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, and remaining pennies that should be provided. Here's a chart that shows you sample input and the, the output that would be generated from that in terms of the number of dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, and leftover pennies. You can use that to test your application. But as you can see, we would never have more than three quarters because four quarters would be a dollar. We should never have more than two dimes because three dimes would be a quarter. Never have more than two nickels because that should be a dime. and Never have more than five pennies because that should be a nickel. So the maximum values you can have for quarters would be three, maximum dimes would be two, maximum nickels would be one, and the maximum pennies would be four. The alignment mentioned here of how this relates to our course level outcomes provides some insight in terms of solving this problem. Notice it's to provide practice with the integer division and the modulus operations. So then we can see how we're going to do some math with those two different operators and getting input as an integer. So converting a string to an integer and providing concatenated output. So concatenation will be part of our solution as well. And then there's some other specifications here in terms of displaying what our program does and your name um, prompted to enter the total number of pennies. That's going to be our input prompt. Convert that to an int variable. Do the math calculations and all output should be displayed with labels. Concatenate a strength and output is shown below. So here's our input. If we enter 867 pennies, the following will be given in exchange for those 867 pennies of eight dollars, two quarters, one dime, one nickel, and two pennies. And so you can see the concatenation here of the label of dollars, some spaces in eight. And note how I, notice how I lined these up together by adding extra spaces in the label string. Just makes it more readable. Let's take a look at my code and I'll walk you through it. Keep in mind there's always multiple ways to solve a problem and one code is not necessarily better than another. It might be more efficient. The bottom line is, does it work? So I'm going to present to you my solution. Yours might be slightly different, and that's okay as long as we get the correct results, and we're not having a lots of extraneous code. So I have the print statements here that simply tell the user what's going to happen. Um, we're going to get their input. So we have an input statement of enter the number of pennies. That's going to be a integer value that they enter, such as 867 pennies. We want to convert that to an integer. So that whole input statement is inside the parentheses for the int conversion. And we're assigning that to a value named pennies. Now here's my process. So that was our input. Here's the process. Starting pennies equals pennies. I just set another variable named starting pennies that I'm going to use later on in my output. But I'm going to modify this pennies variable as we convert it to the dollars and the quarters and so forth. So I want to have a record of what I started with dollars is a variable it's going to equal the number of pennies and we're doing integer division so that is two forward slashes and a hundred we're going to divide pennies by a hundred hundred pennies and a dollar that's going to give us the number of dollars then i need to calculate how many pennies are left over so in this case pennies equals pennies i haven't modified pennies yet pennies equals pennies we're going to use the modulus operator to get the remainder of that integer division by a hundred so if I have 533 pennies, 500 of those pennies are going to go into the dollars. The remainder is 33. That's how many pennies are left over. We'll do the same thing with quarters. So now we're going to take the leftover pennies, divide that by integer division by 25. And then again, I need to find how many pennies are left over. Pennies modulus 25. Dimes equals pennies integer division 10. Find the number of pennies left over by doing a modulus of 10 on those pennies. Then we do the same thing with nickels, integer division of five, and the remaining pennies, which will be four or less, is found using the modulus. My output is simply to write a statement. The following would be given in exchange for those, and I'm going to concatenate. Now I continue this on the next line. That's the backslash character there. So that tells the interpreter that this is not the end of the statement. Let's go to the next line. I'm going to take the starting number of the starting pennies that we saved up above. I want to convert that to a string because this is a concatenation operation. So use the str method there. And I'm concatenate to that the word pennies in a literal string. 
Next, we're going to print, and I'm going to have some spaces, dollars, some spaces, all a part of a literal string, and the string value of dollars. And I do the same thing for quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. And I simply add some spaces to have these line up really nicely. And at the end, I simply print a blank line. Um, Python's going to basically say, you know, program is finished running, and I want to just have a blank line between that. That's my code. Let's just watch this run. So I put in 1367. I'm told there are $13, two quarters, a dime, a nickel, and two pennies. And you can add those up and discover it says $13.67. Let's run it one more time. I always want to test your application multiple times. We'll do 623. And here I'm getting six dollars, zero quarters, two dimes, zero nickels, and three pennies. I would say always test your application so you can get some zeros in each one of these. Make sure that's working correctly. And always check and make sure you're not getting more than three quarters, not more than two dimes, not more than a nickel, and not more than four pennies. And you can do the math to make sure that it adds up to the dollars and cents that would be the same as those number of pennies. If you just jumped into this video and haven't seen the prior videos to this, I invite you to check out my Python playlist of videos. And if you'd like to be alerted to future videos that I create, you can click my picture up in the top right and subscribe to the channel.